YouTube was good. Um, it was another video. Um, this one is going to be kind of funny. Because I just thought about something um, that I'm sure a lot of us go through. And we always wonder, like, what's the problem? I'm really being serious about how I feel. And it's basically about somebody not being your type or you not being attracted to somebody. Now, there's a difference of somebody genuinely, genuinely not being your type and you really, really, really not being attracted to them versus you being a hater. Right? Now, a lot of people feel like just because you may not be attracted to them, while 99 other people is attracted to them, that you're a hater, right? So let's say again, for instance, somebody, you know, who's, you know, the ideal, gorgeous, whatever, yada, yada, right? And everybody, you know, thinks they look so great and all that stuff. Like, like I said, like 99% people think they look great. And then there's this one person who really, really deep down inside thinks they look hit. And that person has the nerve to feel a certain type of way about it. Like, they really take it to heart that that person really doesn't think they're attractive and is really not their type. Meanwhile, that person really, really, genuinely is not attracted to them. Really. And it might not even mean that they think the person is ugly. It, they might just not be their type. And a lot of people get offended by that. Like, oh, what you mean I ain't your type? Because, you know, a lot of people get big heads when they have a lot of people coming, coming at them and, you know, telling them they cute and stuff like that or whatever the case, right? So when that one person comes along and tells them, the opposite of what everybody else has been telling them, automatically they get all offended and, oh, she's a fucking hater. She talking about, oh, I'm not her type or whatever. What she mean? I ain't her type. Like, what's wrong with me? You're not her type. That's just it. You might not be ugly to her. You you might, she might even think you nice looking, but there's something about you that doesn't do it for her. So how many of y'all come across people like that, you know, that come try to holler at you, try to talk to you or whatever, you know, your friends be, oh, she cute, she cute, you should talk to her, and you're like, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know, to me, she's kind of hit, like, I don't see what y'all see, like me, for instance, let me bring it on myself, now, you know, a lot of the ladies, I love y'all out there, y'all know who y'all are, y'all, you know, give me compliments a lot and stuff, and stay making me blush, even up till this very moment, um, and I appreciate all the compliments and stuff like that. But guess what? There's somebody out there that thinks I'm B. Like genuinely thinks I'm ugly. And I don't feel no type of way about it because they might genuinely really feel like that. I mean, if it's you and you're watching right now, feel free to write on the bottom. Because if that's how you really feel, that's how you feel. I don't knock nobody for feeling how they genuinely, genuinely feel. Now, like I said, there's a difference of really not being attracted to somebody and being a hater. Not being attracted to somebody is when you just be like, oh, you know, I don't think she's, you know, that special or that great or whatever the case. You know, but she's she's a cool person. That's that's normal. That's not being a hater, not nothing. This is being a hater. Oh fuck out of here, like I'm 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 gonna talk about myself. Oh fuck out of here, like please. That bitch where we weave, her voice is mad deep. Naming all the obvious, by the way. Naming all the obvious, right? Oh, she wear a weave, her voice mad deep. Oh, this, that, and the third, you know, naming stupid stuff that's not relevant. Like, you gotta come better. You gotta come better. So, sidebar, a message to all my haters, right? Sidebar. So, all my haters, who I, who I love dearly as well, because y'all keep me motivated. Appreciate y'all. All jokes aside, I really do. Um, if you're gonna come for me, you gotta come hard or don't come at all. Like, seriously. If you're gonna come for me, you can't come with the whole, oh, I wear a weave, oh, I sound like a man, oh, my lips is big. Like, you know, I need you to name something that I don't already know about myself. Already told y'all I wear a weave, y'all hear the voice, it's deep. That's just how I sound, that's my voice. Yeah, my lips is big. Yeah, like what else? You gotta you, you gotta come with something better. Like come with something that I don't know. If you're gonna say something, like don't hit me with the cricket jokes. Like you know, don't hit me up and then say some shit that's gonna have me.
scratching my head or have me hearing mad crickets in the background. You know what I mean? Like, hit me up with some juice spitters. Like, I want to be drinking on the juice and spit it out after you say the shit you say to me. Feel what I'm saying? Like, make me spit my juice out. Make me make my people spit their juice out when I tell them the shit you said. Like, you got to do better. Can, can you do better? So, I'm going to give a shout out to a hater that I had in the past that um one of my fans told me about, actually. She had told me about, I don't know if it was a girl she was messing with before or something like that. Told me that, um, and I hope I'm not blowing you off if I am, oh well, I don't know. Because you know I can, I can give two shits, I can kill less. But um, she told me that this girl had said that I look like Scooby-Doo in the late trunk. Now tell me you ain't laughing your ass off right now. Imagine Scooby-Doo in the late trunk. Now, you know that's a real juice spitter. If I was drinking juice at that time, when she told me that, I would have fucking spit my juice out all over my laptop, all over my clothes, everything. That was the best shit I had heard in a while, okay? It takes a lot to get under my skin because my skin is pretty tough. And like I said, I point out all my own flaws, so you got to come better. But that shit right there, like as soon as she said that, I imagined Scooby doing a lace front and I just started busting out laughing. For real, who, whoever you out there, I give you props. And not even on no sarcastic bullshit. I was really dying laughing, and I told all my peoples about that. They was laughing too. So see, for that, you get props for that. Come hard like her. Her right there, she made me laugh. She gave me a tee hee hee. Rest of y'all, you gotta do better. So you gotta come harder. So now, back to the main thing. So yeah, there's a difference of being a hater and really not being, you know, interested in somebody. So. Girls, guys, whoever is watching this video right now, um, don't feel, how could I call it, <laughs> like you got your ego stabbed and your self-esteem is getting low now because you tried to approach somebody and they wasn't interested in you. Maybe they really, really wasn't interested. Like when you go to a restaurant and they be like light meat or dark meat or they be like beef or chicken. Are you going to get pissed if somebody decides they don't want to eat cow and they want a bird instead? No. That's really their preference. They're not interested in eating the meat. That's just it. Like, what you like, vanilla ice cream or chocolate? I can't stand chocolate ice cream. What if somebody said that? Like, I can't stand chocolate ice cream and then they give you chocolate. You're going to be pissed. They prefer vanilla ice cream. It goes as simple as that. There's no hard feelings, no nothing. So if somebody is really not attracted to you, it might not be because you're popped in the face, or it might be because you're popped, but whatever the case, they're not attracted to you, and you can't force somebody to be attracted to you. But just because they're not attracted to you, don't think they're being a hater. That's two totally different things. If they're hating on you, that means they're talking about you constantly, you're constantly on their mind, they're constantly trying to find things wrong with your character, wrong with the way you look, wrong with you know what you do. That's being a hater. She just said she's not interested and you don't do it for her. Simple as that. I think you're a cool person, you a nice girl and all, but I'm really not interested. Take it with stride. Say respect, you know. Shake a hand, you know, whatever. Like, you know what, sweetheart? You 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 came at me nice. You ain't, you know, tried to curse me out, call me out my name. And, you know, if you're really not interested, then that's just it. But don't try to force yourself on nobody. Don't try to force somebody, you know, force your way into their eyesight, like trying to get their attention. So, because you didn't get their attention, now they all types of bitches and holes and everything like that because they didn't give you the time of day. You know how it goes. I'm sure a lot of us lesbians still deal with that, you know, walking down the street and some dudes trying to holler at you or whatever. And you pay them no mind and then it's, oh, fuck that bitch anyway. You wasn't cute anyway, bitch. Yeah, but I was cute five minutes ago when you were trying to talk to me. Like, what happened? See, that's what I'm talking about. Shit like that, that's being a hater. Okay? So, hater and not attracted to you. Two totally different things. Okay? So, let's get that in order. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Random video. Hope you liked it.